All right, uh, we left it belly down for about five hours-ish. We got a little hot a couple times, got up to about 310, 320 a couple times. Our wood, our firewood wasn't very uh, <clears throat> wet, so I really wanted to start on fire a couple times. No big deal though. Um, the ribs were pretty much done, so we started pulling the ribs out. Um, and now is when, so we made a mojo sauce. That's what looks like the atomic green substance on the inside here. But uh, we made that and so we dumped that on and now we're, remember not to pierce the skin. So what Richard's doing right now, whatever can shred, he's kind of shredding some to let that, that mojo juice, that marinade kind of really start to seep in over the next couple hours and keep it nice and moist. Uh, and then we also season it with a bunch of salt uh, and some pepper. So the parts that are going to tear right now are going to be center rib cage area. The hams at the back are still going to be a little firm. And the shoulders up here at the front are going to be a little firm too. Um, but now that we've got it flipped and kind of just going along and letting it keep slow cooking, you want to keep your temp down now. It's okay if it got a little high earlier, but now you want to keep it down in the you know 225 or under you probably don't want to spike up to 275 anymore because you don't want to dry out your meat um but yeah even the hams since we cut them up pretty good they're starting to shred they're still a little tough but they're starting to pull apart now so um the tin foil you can see over here some of it ripped off you know that thing's belly down all that fat and juice starts to stick to the tin foil so when we flipped it it, it came with us so it's all right though but uh when you pull those ribs out enjoy some they're delicious because you can just eat the meat right off those bones anyway that's about it